Welcome to another episode of Behind the Studs, your home improvement and remodeling podcast, where the two most entertaining guys discuss the do's and don'ts in home construction and in the remodeling industry. Remember that you can nail it, paint it, or just tune into the show. How about that? Uh, here are your hosts, Colin Shaw and Jimmy Driscoll. What's up, everyone? What's going on? Going on? Welcome to another episode of Behind the Studs. That's right. That's who we is. We is. Behind the Studs. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're behind them. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we're studs. No, no, far from it. No, no. no. we're stubbies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a special thank you again to Michael Whitehouse. Thank you, Mikey. The guy who knows a guy. Guy who knows a guy and wears funny looking good boots. <laughs> he likes those boots. I love those boots. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're still going to call him Joey, aren't we? Yeah. I was definitely, he's a Joey. He's Joey. He's Joey. I would wear those boots with a bathrobe on, making coffee. <laughs> Holding your rubber ducky. Honey! <laughs> How do you like your eggs? <laughs> Maybe you'll be wearing a tinfoil hat or something. No, that's <laughs> too fun. No, then they're going to commit me. <laughs> you should have been committed a lot of times. Oh, you my God. That. If they saw you me with the that. boots on, they go, oh, we understand. Yeah. We understand. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's just Jimmy. That's just yeah. me? Yeah, we, we, we yeah. find him endearing. Yeah, yeah, my neighbors. I got up one morning at 5 a.m. because uh, I couldn't sleep, and I walked outside my front door. <laughs> And I saw this car zipping up the road, mm-hmm. and they had the brights on. And all of a sudden, it was a it was a floodlight, and I was like, "Oh, it's a cop!" Mm. So like, I waved at him. Yep. And he pulls over, and he pulls over next to my driveway, and I'm like walking towards him. And he said, "You call nine one one?" I said, "No, no." Said, what are you waving at me for? <laughs> I said, I'm just trying to be a nice guy. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, good morning. You can't be a nice guy. And he was like, blah, 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 blah. and he was all miserable. Wow. So he walked over to my neighbor's house. Yeah. And uh, what happened was my neighbor had his phone, and he hit the SOS by accident, and he couldn't get out of it. Oh. So, of course, it went to the police station. And yeah, he, yeah. And, they, and he said, listen, it was an accident. You know, goes, okay, but we've got to send a car out there. Well, sure, oh, yeah. Poor, miserable cop at 5 wow. o'clock in the morning. Nothing. Yeah, well. But they were okay. They're, 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 there's probably a lot we could say on that, but we probably shouldn't. Yeah, no, we don't. No, we don't want. No, no, no. no, no. We're good. Yep. Totally good. Don't need to be stopped. No, I already I got stopped a couple weeks ago. Did you? What'd yep. you do? Um, I was doing 55 and a 35 Ooh. because I was dealing out of the, the house got flooded. Some house got flooded, mm-hmm. and I was going to get the sheetrock while they were cleaning up. Oh, uh, okay. So you're trying so, to hustle. So I got pulled over, and there she was like, uh, was it female police officer? And... Um, she says, you know why I pulled you over? I said, no idea. She says, you're doing 55 terabytes. I'm like, ah. I said, I'm sorry. My head was not in the game. It's uh, on the flood. And she was like, well, thanks for being honest. Mm-hmm. She said, okay, hang on. So, blah, 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 we started talking. We started talking about breakfast sandwiches. It was the funniest <laughs> thing. She goes back and gives me my license. She says, it's not, a Not donuts. No. No. They don't do donuts. They don't no. do donuts. Because I, I was trying to tell her where the best breakfast sandwiches are in the area. <laughs> okay. She and seems she, to need to know She that. had better ones than I had. Wow. So right. we exchanged notes, uh-huh. and she said, here is your written warning. And she says, you know, if I see you doing that again, I got to ticket you. Right. I said, well, I'm going to deserve it if I do, right. and I apologize. Nice. Very nice. I didn't get yanked out of the car. You, you didn't have to tase. cry or anything? No. no. I mean, they, right. they understand the working guy. They understand what I was doing. I was sure. going towards Home Depot. They knew it. They got yeah. it. Yeah, they get it. Yeah, you just comply and be a nice guy and admit if you're wrong and you be honest and everything goes fine. Right. But all these idiots that go, you have no reason to stop me. I have not. Blah, 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 blah. My friends were cops and they're like, yeah. oh, they love those people. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Really? Okay. All right. Okay. So they say, um, so we're going to do this. I'm going to give you another couple minutes and you're going to give me a license. <laughs> if not, then you're not going to comply with me. Then you're obstructing justice and I'll yank you out of the car. Wow. Yeah. And that's what happens. He yeah. Gets him out of the car. <laughs> Have you ever seen some of those shows, like the cop shows that they do, like uh, people that just freak out on cops when they get pulled over? Yeah, and cops are really cool about and it. And they just stare there, and they just like stare at this guy. The guy's yeah. screaming, yelling, grabs a ticket, rips it up, throws oh, I've it seen out that. of it. Yeah, the old man. Like, and, and the cop, you're littering, sir, pick it up. Right. And he's like, ah, 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 gets outside. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just couldn't imagine doing that. No, cop. cops can take cops take it to a point, and then if they if they scuff a cop, if they knock something away and they hit a cop, like to just hit their shoulder or something, right? Yeah, you're going to jail, pal. Sure, you're going to jail, absolutely. And you're gonna get knocked down, and right? Turn around. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm still still the guy that I just freak out whenever a cop gets behind me. I'm like, oh my god, what did I do? What did I do? Yeah, like, is my know, insurance they up to date? Is my, is my registration I mean, up to date? I, I I have a tremendous amount of respect for the uh, <laughs> law enforcement. And anybody does that, yep. especially where we live. And and off of 95, and it is so busy. And these guys are out there, and they're doing traffic stops, and they're pulling people over. And they're on the main 
through way and it's just like some of them are smart enough that they they're all smart but they go on the other side and the passenger yeah. side yeah that's the best move because it's just like man i've pulled over on 95 where i like get something out of my truck and just 75 miles an hour going by you man is scary it is scary yeah yep so well damn. i mean most people don't even realize i don't think that if there is a cop on the side of the road you're supposed to move to the opposite lane that's right you're not supposed to pass them on that lane no that's the law but yeah that's the law but nobody nobody does that i, I watch them all the time yeah i'm like come on guys just yeah. pull over get out of his way yeah exactly uh, scary yep i didn't i wouldn't want to do it nope so if there's ever any remodeling work needs to be done on the side of a highway i'm out yeah yeah i got you yeah i want barriers yeah. i want a bunch of orange trucks with a lot of flashing lights <laughs> yeah you want to be enclosed i want to be enclosed. Yeah. good for you that's right <laughs> good for you that's right so, hey, listen, uh, over the past week, we had uh, one of our listeners reach out to us. They had a question about tile. Oh, cool. Yeah. Great. So they're like, you know, don't know if you've actually talked about this before on another show. And we may, we may not have, but, you know, it's always good to revisit some of these things anyways. Yeah. So his question was, you know, he, he understands that a lot of plumbing supplies and different things at the box stores are made maybe not exactly the same way as they would be when you buy them from a plumbing supply house. Yes. Which is why they're more expensive at a plumbing supply house. Yes. So his question was tile. Right. Now, does it matter? You know, he said he went to a tile store and, you know, it was like $4 and up for a square foot, but he finds things at Home Depot he likes Correct. for $2 and something a square Correct. foot. Correct. Correct. So he wants to know, do you get what you pay for? You know, is there any sort of an issue? Now, you and I had that talk uh, briefly about it. And yeah. You know, I have some some thoughts on it myself, and I okay. know you do as well. Yeah, so. yeah absolutely. Uh, so for me, there's a couple of things with the Home Depot or Lowe's tile. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of the tiles you buy at the tile store will be solid straight through. So it's a solid straight color all the way through. Mm -hmm. So if it chips or anything else down the road, it mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily show as much. Correct. With the Home Depot tile, they're mostly just glazed over on the top. So there's a different color from the top layer to inside the tile. Mm. So if it chips, you're going to notice the, the difference. Mm -hmm. okay. The other thing for me too, is if you're running tile and you're going with grout lines that are straight and you're not like offsetting them like a brick, a lot of times with the home Depot tile, they will be a little bit different in size from tile to tile. <clears throat> so your grout line will jog as it goes down. Okay. Well, so that's 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 on that's my end of it. That, you know, yeah, that's my been my experience with those tiles. Right. Okay. So, um, I deal with a bunch of, <clears throat> of other tile guys that uh, that do tiling for a living. Um, been doing it for quite some time, and they do like a lot of tile that comes now out of Home Depot. Yep. Couldn't say that seven years ago, six years ago. Okay. But they've they've upped their game on their tile, so, and they've and Lowe's has too. So with that in mind, um, for the homeowner, there are good tiles out there like uh, Dal Tile, D-A-L, Dal? Uh, yep, yep, Dal right, Tile. Right, yep. which, is a, which is highly reputable, mm -hmm, has very a great much. reputation, yep. and they carry that. Yep. Uh, usually Home Depot carries that. And um, the only thing that I would sway away from in tile work is if you're doing marble tile and it has veins in it. Okay. Because... They can be thin and they can be brittle and they will, mm -hmm. and they can break. You yep. have to be very careful with that. Yep. Um, and that also comes on how you're setting the tile. And we'll get into that question too. Um, doing that. Yep. Setting the tile. And to the homeowner, if you're interested in tiles and you like those tile, um, grab a salesperson in that department, especially when it comes to tile or flooring. Mm -hmm. They can really, really. Home Depot can really help you out, even Lowe's, because I had, I just did my bathroom, and we went to both places. Yep. And the people who are in that, those departments are very knowledgeable. Uh, they're really good with the square footage. They're really good with their materials. As far, from grout to the certain tile, they can answer your questions. And if you are buying, you give them the measurements of the room, say it be 12 by 14 or whatever, they'll figure out your square footage, boom, and they will with waste which is important yes and mm -hmm. they will direct you to that tile and they will make sure and you can also ask them can we make sure that we have the same lot number which is very very important explain that all right the lot number is basically during the factory when they're making those tiles that's a certain lot whether they're making them for that day for that hour for that week it's the same lot it's the same material and it's usually it's all the same 
If you get lot one to lot five, lot five may be different. The die may be a little bit different. Um, they've already circulated uh, new tile. Um, there could be less of the, and there may be a little bit more imperfection mm -hmm. on that lot, or yeah. it's a whole different lot. Correct. It is that color, it's that lot, but the die may be different. So if you're trying to go with some uh, accuracies, try to stay with the same lot number. That goes, that goes with vinyl siding also. Um, mm -hmm. and they'll do the same thing when you're buying a book. They try to give you the same lot number. Right. I hope that makes some sense to some people on that. I think that does. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. I mean, it's not something that the homeowner would usually think about. No. Yeah, you know, that there would even be any sort of difference from one box to the next. Right. But you're very, you're, you are correct. I mean, those die lots, you got to make sure are dead on. Right. And you can see that on the side of the box. And really, if you have any questions, that's why they're there. And they're yep. really good about it. And they can answer them for you. Right. And they'll really help you out. It's really good. Now, of course, you know, American Olean is another brand uh, that I think both Home Depot and Lowe's carry. And that's for like your typical three by six white subway tile. Which is huge right now. A lot yeah. of people love that. Oh, it's a classic look. It's clean. It's classic. It doesn't yeah. die. Yep. You know, it seems to still stand the test of time. And it has been for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, those, those type of tiles are fine. Get those through Home Depot or Lowe's. I mean, yep. I think it's like 60 cents a square foot. Yep. You know, it's definitely worth it. And I'm not knocking the mom and pop stores or the smallest stores. No, or the no, no, no. Because they, they've got great tile too. And it really comes down to your preference. Mm -hmm. um, it's like your bottle of wine. You can buy a $25 bottle of wine and you can go to two buck chuck and get a bottle of five bucks and you like the $5 bottle better. Right. <clears throat> or excuse me, you like the bottle, the $25 bottle mm -hmm. better. It's it's your preference. Sure. You know, and, and that's what it comes down to because you got to live with it. Right. And like you said, you know, the mom and pops too, I mean, they have more of a selection. I mean, yes. they have some stuff that, you know, may not be trendy as, as you know, Home Depot and Lowe's has to sell mm -hmm. to what's popular right yeah, now because right. they just, they don't want to sit on tile and not be able to move it. Correct. So where your yeah. mom and pop, they're going to order it directly from the supplier. Yeah. So they don't have to sit on it either, but they can get you some really cool, interesting stuff. Right. Yep. Uh, I'm dealing with lumber liquidators right now, and I had a customer put the... How's that going? This, yeah. <laughs> got back to me too late, got me the part, mm -hmm. da 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 Of course, I go back to the store, and they're like, we don't carry it. We don't have it. It's out of stock. We can order it for you, and um, I can go to Warwick, Rhode Island. How far is Warwick from here, bro? Um, Probably. No, 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 no. I would say it's no more than a half hour, forty five minutes, really. All right, so I'm on I'm because it's before trip. Providence, and you know, Providence. Yeah, about I'm doing, I'll do the road trip tomorrow. Yep. Um, but that's it. That's another thing too. Uh, lumber liquidators because they work with laminate flooring, and mm -hmm. they, they've got a great selection. But a lot of it can be closeouts, and if you're buying the boxes of stuff, which I've heard from quite a few people, they get a lot more shorts Correct. when they get the long pieces. Yep. yep. It's lumber liquidators. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you're going to save money. But you got to know why. Right. You know, it might not be the end of the world for you, too. I mean, maybe, yeah. you know, some extra shorts here and there are fine for you. Yeah. Um, I've had customers, you know, we actually spent the top dollar for it. And, you know, a couple of boxes came in, mostly shorts, and they were furious. Yeah. You know, they, yeah. they paid the money for it. It wasn't supposed to be that way. So right. luckily the company, you know, made good on it. But, yeah. you know, some people don't mind. Other people... Bothers them, you know. Yeah. Again, the five dollars to twenty five dollar bottle of wine, right? You know, I just what you like. I just, you know, we're talking about tile today, but I have to say, I just came back from meeting with a with a uh, customer, mm -hmm. husband and wife. They want to move. They're selling the house, but they have to redo their shower because the door has failed, and the tile is old, and it needs to. It's it's terrible. Yep. And I'm trying to calm her down and trying to calm him down because he doesn't want to spend the money. Sure. She's like, spend the money so we make our money back and sell in the house because yep. the house is dated. And I'm just trying to explain to him, says, you know, you want these glass doors, they're going to be about two grand. Yeah. You know, yep. you know, they're expensive. Sure. And she's like, she's turning to her husband, she says, I want to spend the money and do this. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, oh my God, just put a curtain up with a thumbtack <laughs> and call it a day. You know? Is it the master? No. Okay. No, it's All not right. the master. You know what? I uh, no. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Spend the money. Uh, spend spend money. the money. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry, it is because I just realized they had the jacuzzi in the other room that's just adjacent to it, and it goes into the room. Yes, so it is the master room. Yep. I was trying to figure out the tile form because they got a yellow floor. They got they got canary yellow tiles in the shower stall, hmm. and I'm trying Party. to tell them, go pick the tile and. 
they got the small square, you know, the four by four square. Uh, yeah, yeah. I said, you can look at, believe it or not, look at one by one. Look at a mm-hmm. foot, you know, 12 inches by 12, 12 by 12. See what they got, earth tones, because you can find some yellow in the grain. Uh, there's some great stuff out there that'll match the floor, because they don't, they don't want to rip up the floor. Okay. And the floor is ne- is kind of dated, but, my God, yellow? Come on. I know. Hey, that's tough. You don't see yellow very often. You don't. I still see the pink and the blues. Yeah. I was just at a house yesterday, same thing. Blues yeah. and pinks. And-, and you know what happened? We were going to rip all that stuff out, and five years later, it's going to be back in. <laughs> pink I tiles. don't know. I don't know. They tried to resell all the colored toilets and stuff. You know, they were more expensive at the supply houses. They're not moving them. Nobody's buying those anymore. They tried to come back as like a retro thing. I like an avocado toilet, please. <sighs> not happening. No, no. Nope. Stick with white. Yeah, white, or if you biscuit. have to, if you, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, just the off white, the yep. biscuit, or whatever, yep. or almond, or whatever color they come yep. up with. So, so they got to yeah. spend the money to sell a house. Isn't that a well, shame? I know, I know. But you have to, you know, I know we've talked about this before contact your real estate agent, find out. That's if that they, really makes sense or not. And it because, does make sense, unfortunately, yep. in this house, it does. Yeah, so, I mean, you got to do it. Yeah. You know, or so, else be willing to take a lot less for your house. And that's it. And they, they'll take a hit. They'll, they'll be selling for lower than what they paid for it. That's not good. No. So spend the money to get the money back. Bad investment. Right. If you're going to come out yeah, less. Right. Not good. Gotcha. Yeah. So oh. something else with flooring, too, that I wanted yes. to bring up, too, and another good thing to do if you're at you know, Home Depot or Lowe's and, you know, the people at the, at the, at the tile stores will, will know this already. But, you know, the application, where it's being used and for what is actually very important yes. when you're talking to these people um, because there is different finishes on tile for floors and for walls. And, yes. You know, whether you're going to get a honed, polished, glazed, you know, whatever the case may be. Just know you don't want any of that stuff that's, you know, super, super slick super on the floor. Super glossy on the floor. You'll, right. you'll slip and die. Exactly. So that's, you know, just make sure you ask that question. Right. And make sure that that's great. And that you don't want that. In the t- you don't want that. If you're building a shower stall with the basin and all that, you want um, the matte finish or you want the uh, flat finish yep. on that. Yep. The wall's a different story. The ceiling's a different story. So. Right. Um, you also have here, does it matter what... Um, what size tile? Well, like you just said, the small skinny subway tile is in. Mm-hmm. There's you can do the variant. Uh, you could do the 12 inch by 12 inch with a plank style tile in the center, which is in now. Yep. Or a um, mosaic, yep. which is in now, which looks really like the nice. Glass and, and stone tile too. That glass goes right across stone or whatever your accent strip. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. And, and in the back of like a niche or something too. And that's a good thing too is when you go when you go to these uh, either holes. Um, Lowe's or Home Depot when you go to pick out a large square tile they have that all set they've mm. got the bull nose next to it and they yeah. also have the mosaic or they have the plank with it mm. so nice. you can lay it out on the floor right there and see what you like and see what you want to go with uh, hmm. see if that nice. works yeah that worked out really good I like that um, that was cool what did you end up going with because we haven't we haven't done the final final look of yours well, because we're so busy in the spring right now, you and me. I mean, it was we're really, really close. Um, there was stuff that stuff that worked that didn't work. But listen, I got tile from Home Depot and I got tile from Lowe's, both. Yep. Okay. Uh, very happy with the selection that we did get. Um, she was adamant about a washer and dryer in the room. Right. Wanted the washer and dryer in the room. Yep. Got the smallest one that they had. Um, I think it's a Whirlpool. Freaking thing is awesome. Really? But once we put it in the room, she was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's got to go. Oh, no. Get, really? Yeah, it, I, I told her. It eats I up know, the room. you did. We had a nice, spacious bathroom, and <clears throat> now you've got that, and it's just like, ugh, it's tough. So let me explain something to the, you homeowners, you people who want to you want to renovate a bathroom, you yep. want to renovate a kitchen. Mm-hmm. Do this before you even, before you buy the material. Go out into your driveway or your garage, empty it out, and tape off the size of your room. Okay. And this is where our sink is going to go. This is where our island is going to go. Mm-hmm. This is what we want to do because I'll tell you right now, just doing that, besides doing it on paper, you see the size of your room. You see what you just lost. Yep. And Good it, point. It, it's a great point. And trying sorry, to explain sorry. that. Great, great point. Great, great yep. point. It's it, it it saves you a lot of money. We didn't do that. Okay. I went with 
do this. And I was like, it's not going to, just do it. I did it. It didn't work. Had to change it around, change it around, change it around, change it around, which you shouldn't really do it that way because it costs you more money. It costs you more time. And when you don't have time, it's, it's murder. So, sure. so map it out very carefully. Look at all your stuff. There is tons of stuff online as far as vanities, um, you know, bathroom sinks, whatever. Go for the hardwood. Make sure it's not composite because that right. stuff just blows apart when it gets wet with water. Yep. Um, and do your homework. Yeah. What's the rush? Right. What is the rush? Yep. And make it enjoyable. And you have to you do do the best you can. Try to make it a joint thing between husband and wife. If the husband doesn't want nothing to do with it, well, then dude, and you want to let her do, make sure that she's happy. Then that's fine. Yep. But the final end result, if you don't like it, mm-hmm. that's too bad. Mm-hmm. That's too bad. Yeah, but like you said, you know, there's no rush. So you know, when people say, you know, can I do tile at my house? Yeah, you can do tile at your house. You know, just make sure you have the right tools. You know, the trowels and. There's yeah. different thicknesses, you know, based right. on the size of your tile. Just learn that. Yeah. And when you're doing tile, it takes time. It just does. You know, you're going to want to check and make sure it stays level. Check it with the tiles next to it. Make sure that one's not higher than the other so you stub your toe every time you walk along. Yeah. So it does take some time. And, you know, it, it can be done and it looks great. And you'll be very proud of yourself when you're done. But yeah. take your time. Don't if you don't have it. the time to do it and you want someone to do it, you know, get some references, some good tile people. You yep. can get them at the hardware store. Uh, you can look them up online um, and just uh, see what you like and see who you're happy with. Right. You know what I mean? So that, that'll work. Um, what do we got? What Let's talk about thing? cement floor. You know, cement board. All right. I don't know much about it, but go ahead. Okay. So, you know, I definitely have seen people tile over drywall, which yeah. is not a great idea. So typically what we recommend you doing is getting some half inch thick oh. hardy back cement oh, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, throwing I'm, it up on the walls. I and, thought I thought you were talking about cement board planks for tile. Oh gosh, no. But you're talking yeah. about hardy board, you're the hardy board, board. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. I, yeah, that's what we do. And right. people always say, Well, what about the floor? Do I have to do it on the floor? I've got a, I've got plywood down. Yes. You mm-hmm. still need to do it on the floor. Mm-hmm. Because if there's any sort of give in your floor, in your subfloor, you're going to crack tile and grout lines and you're going to have a hell of a time. Right. So mm-hmm. definitely always put down the cement board first. And hardy board's not that expensive. I think it's, it's not, no. It's like seven bucks a sheet or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, You get them in three by fives, I think is what and they it, come. And it's idiot proof too because right. it's got the little circles where you yeah. want to put the screws. <laughs> it, it does. And you and buy there's the, a lot of screws, just so you know. <laughs> and they're called backer screws and you use the, the, use the yes. designated screws that go into that and it really, it secures that to the floor. Yep. And... um it just makes a better adher- adhesion. Adhesion? Adhesive. 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 Uh, adhere- hmm. Adhesive. Adhesive. Nobody listens to us because we're smart. Right. That's right. <laughs> so adheres, it adheres. Oh, the oh. tile and the glue there you go. adhere better to that board. Right. And I've actually had some customer ask me, can I put tile on top of tile? No. 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 Uh-uh. Because, <laughs> again... Any sort of shift in that tile below is going to cause your yeah. your tile on Get top. Rid of it. Yeah, yeah, no, not a good idea. If you're pulling tile up and you got cement still on the plywood or whatever it is, rip the plywood up, cut it up. Don't. And, uh, I I, was, uh, I did a bad thing. <laughs> I learned from that mistake. We all learn from mistakes. I put the freaking sure. vinyl, the vinyl square tile down, and it was a little cement on the plywood. I'm like, it's vinyl. It's not going to be forever. I'm just going to put it down. And uh-huh. it was just in a couple spots. And of course, she stepped on it. She goes, like, What is this? I'm like, I know. This is awful. It's like the princess in the peak. Uh, yeah, yeah. She felt a little uh, cement. Yeah, she there. did. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> That disappeared because we know that was just temporary. Yeah. We just got that up. Now we got the real deal. Nice. We're, all, we're good to go, yo. They're good to go, yo. They're good to go. We do have to take a little visit with the, with the video camera over to your bathroom, though, when you're ready. When I get back from vacation, absolutely. Yeah. Um, she just did this really cool thing. I think women are into this now. Uh, she she found a mirror and she chalkboarded it. That's chalk painting, I should say. Hmm. Chalk painting. Okay. Um, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. I don't what, if you love it, it so. go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, but it's um, the people are doing it with furniture now. They chalk their furniture, huh. and it's got a, it's got a, it's the texture of chalk. Okay, but it's a paint. Huh? Uh, and it gives it that certain look. And people, and I should say, some women just go over, go crazy over it. Yeah, it's that new thing. It was like when we had that faux, that that faux painting or whatever you call it, that the designing with the rolling 
freaking sponges on the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, sponge work there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you had to glaze the wall and you had to do this and do that. That's gone. I don't see anybody doing that anymore. No, no, I'm not getting any calls for that. Are you hearing things too about like, you know, wallpaper's coming back? <sighs> I've heard that. I, yes, I have. No. I don't see it yet, though. So is Jesus, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, it's almost time, too. It's almost Easter. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe, hey, who's that coming down the road with <laughs> wallpaper? Oh, my God, it's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and who would have thought that's what he who came back for? Who would have thought? That's yeah. right. He, get, he hung up the, the, right. the hammer and nails, and he's going to be a wallpaper. I'm here to yeah. save your soul and your bathroom. <laughs> Or your kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go. I can feel the cinders burning now. Yep. 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 Hell's awaiting. Yep. There's a thunderstorm so, coming. There's a thunderstorm. <laughs> yep. I can't wait, for, wait to see when Marissa edits this. <laughs> Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> All right. I think we've done enough damage at this point. Yeah. We yeah. Did. Okay. I, listen, I love Jesus. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. He's cool. Yeah. He is cool. He is cool. Yes. I, I wish he was still around. And I would invite him to a wedding. <laughs> really? He'd save so much money, wouldn't he? Yeah, Catering. he would. Yeah. 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 Just need some water because that can turn into wine, so you'd be good there. I saw a truck today. No, yesterday. An uh, yeah. 18-wheeler, and I, the guy was a born-again Christian, and I'm sure some people have seen it too. It was, I think it's some company, some trucking company. Okay. And they're you know they're, they're Christians, and it's, it's a quote on the side of the tractor trailer, and it says, I made the water blush. And then below it, it says God. Huh. Yeah, because it has the you know it has that uh, the fish, oh, the Jesus fish, the, the Jesus fish yep. on the bottom and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. That is cool. Good for them. Right. Right. All right. Well, good All luck right. on your fl- your air flight <laughs> it's on vacation. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, we hope you have a nice time on your vacation. We will miss you, of course. I'll be missed, and yes. I will miss you guys too. I'm sure. But All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up and let's plan to get together in a couple of weeks. And thank you for uh, all your um, your comments and your questions. And hopefully oh, yeah. we thank answered you. them. Yeah, and uh, keep them coming, man. Yeah, keep we love coming. to have questions. Yeah, it's awesome. something to talk about. Yeah. All right, Jimmy. I'll see you. See you, buddy. Bye. Bye.